Hi everybody, it is Nat and today I'm here with my birthday and January book haul. Hi everyone, real fast. I was looking through my computer footage and just everything I have on my computer the other day and I found this video, it's from January, and my birthday, so I thought I would still just go ahead and upload it, but it's a very related video. But I hope you guys still enjoy and let's get back into the video. My birthday is in January so I thought I would just put these two hauls together because the majority of the books I got I did get for my birthday but there are a few that I just got throughout January. So yeah I'm really excited for this video. I got a ton of books for my birthday this year which I am so excited about. I love getting books. I mean who doesn't? <laughs> I'm so excited for all of these and I can't wait to read them so let's go ahead and get into the video. I think I will just start off by showing you guys the books I have bought throughout January. Um, not so not the ones for my birthday, but the first one I've got, I've mentioned this in my Christmas book haul, but I got The Fate of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. This is the third book in the Tearling trilogy, and I love this series. This book came out in November, I believe, but I hadn't picked it up yet, and so I got this with some of my Christmas money, and I am so excited about it. I seriously love this book so much. I mean, the series. <laughs> yeah, I got a gift card for helping out my mom with some stuff around the house, so she gave me a gift card to Amazon, and so I went ahead and picked up this book, and I am so excited to read it. I seriously love this series, and I cannot wait to finish up the series. Pretty much, if you don't know, this series is just about a girl who was raised in secret her whole life, but she is the queen of the tearling, and so it's, there's like some magic and lots of awesomeness and an evil queen, and it's just kind of about her trying to make her kingdom best that she can. And the next four books that I'm going to show you are kind of all the same slash similar and you'll see why. In January I went ahead and picked up Passion and Rapture. These are books three and four and the Fallen, uh, not trilogy, the Fallen Lake Quartet. And I love this series so much. I read it ages, the first two ages ago and I loved them but it's been a long time since I've read them and I really wanted to finish the series because I loved it so much so I recently have been, I listened to the first one audiobook so I went ahead and picked up the final two so I could read them because I love this series so much I feel like it's so underrated and it's so good and I'm just so excited to finish reading it and along those same lines I picked up Fallen in Love by Lauren Kate this is just four novellas about different characters within the book, kind of more backstory um, to the series so you can see more of what the characters go through. I don't know too much about it because I haven't finished with the series so I don't want to like accidentally spoil myself at all. But yeah, I'm really excited to do this one. It's teeny so it should go fast and yeah, I'm just really excited to read more of this world because I love it so much. And then finally, I got Unforgiven by Lauren Kate. This is kind of a spin-off novel to the Fallen series. It's about um, one of the main characters, Cam. It's kind of just more his backstory and kind of you get to see the way that like you get to see why he is the way that he is um again i haven't looked too much into it because i don't want to spoil myself but yeah i really like it's about cam if i didn't say that already but yeah i really liked cam uh, i was definitely team cam before i figured everything out um who knows if that'll change as the series goes on but yeah so i'm really excited to read this there's another girl in here i, I know that much so i'm excited to read about that but yeah I, oh, I just love this series you guys should all read it okay and those are all the books that i bought myself throughout the month of january and now i have all of my birthday books so i'm so excited everybody is so kind thank you so much to all of my friends and family who gave me books because i'm so excited for all of these literally every single book that i have to show you guys i am so excited to read so this first one i've been wanting to read for a long time and that is the Murder Complex by um, Lindsay Cummings, and I've wanted to read this book ever. So I follow Sasha Alves book on BookTube, and one of her best, I mean, her best friend and co-author is Lindsay Cummings. But even before they were co-authors, um, Lindsay talked. Or I mean, Sasha talked about this book, and I really, really wanted to read it. It sounds so good. I don't know too much about it, but pretty much, I just know that the the death rate is higher than the birth rate here. So that sounds interesting. But I think there's like a game goes on I'm not too sure but it sounds really good and I'm really excited to get into it and this next book I'm so so excited about and so so intimidated to read that is Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson um, at the beginning of last year I read the uh, Mistborn trilogy by him and I absolutely loved it and that caused me to read a whole bunch more Brandon Sanderson books but I have yet to read this one and I think this is kind of like his series you know I mean Mistborn is definitely at least to me I've heard about it more and it's more popular but I think his, the, the Stormlight Archive series of his is like the main one that's like really gotten him to be such like a great author. If that, I feel like I'm saying that's so weird, but if you guys know what I mean. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to read this. It is huge, but yeah, I'm so excited. It sounds so good. Um, I think it's pretty much just kind of about like a war and nations and different people trying to like rule a kingdom and make like within the kingdom 
I think it's kind of just about a kingdom. <laughs> I haven't had my eye on this for so long, so I'm so happy I finally picked it up. And also, I was scrolling through this the other day, and I just want to say, isn't this like the creepiest picture ever? I just like randomly saw that. I don't know if you guys can see it that well. But yeah, I don't know. I just find it so creepy. I was just like flipping through this, and I was like, what the heck? I hate it. But yeah, I'm really excited to get to this. I love Brandon Sanderson. He is amazing, so I'm sure I'm gonna love this. So really excited for this next one. But I also got Voyager by the Anna Gebeldon for my birthday. And this is the third book and the Outlander or not well, not a trilogy. The Outlander series. There's definitely more than three. Um, I've read the first two and I really love them. Outlander is amazing. Jack of Flame Amber was pretty good. I don't think I liked it nearly as much as Outlander. So I'm excited to get into this one, see more where the story takes us. Um Islander is amazing. If you guys haven't read it, it's kind of just about this girl who she gets transported back in time 200 years and she ends up like falling in love and it's all about like her different adventures because she goes back to Scotland and it's obviously really different because like time zone and not time zone but like 200 years in the past. That's crazy. So yeah, it's just about her getting used to that and there's like lots of different like war stuff going on and battles and like drama and political drama and there's this really good evil guy. Um, yeah, I don't know too much about what happens in this one, but Allender as a whole is so good. And the next book I have to show you, I'm sure you guys won't be surprised that I have at least one of these in this haul, but that is Bramble Star Storm. It is the Warriors uh, Super Edition by Anne Hunter. Um, Warriors is my favorite series of all time. It is so good. I love the Warriors series. It is my childhood. Um, so yeah, I had to, I had to have one of these for my birthday. Pretty much this one is just about a huge storm, I think, that happens. I'm reading the newest, um, like, series of the Warriors, and they mention a storm, so I think it's kind of just about that, and I guess a lot of people die, so I'm excited to, <laughs> it's bad to say that I'm excited to read it. Alright, and these last two that I have to show you aren't exactly, uh, novels, but this first one, my aunt got me the Beauty Detox Foods, because I'm trying to eat a lot healthier, and just kind of make my body better and healthier and just that fun stuff so I'm really excited for this um, if you guys don't know I'm vegan so this has a bunch of like different vegan recipes and it's just it looks so good I'm so excited to try a lot of these so yeah finally the last set of <laughs> books that I got is all of the Walking Dead <laughs> I love the TV show so I am so excited to read these I've wanted to read them for so long I just never picked them up and I've actually started it and I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm excited to get into this because I've heard these are insanely better than the TV show, which kind of blows my mind because I don't even know how the TV show could really get that much better. So I'm so excited to read these. It's going to be weird because I've heard also that like a lot of the TV show is similar to this, but a lot of it isn't. Like, for example, Daryl's not even in this, so that's a whole character that's different. And I, I know some things that are different, but it, like the, the TV show kind of weaves in and out of sticking to this. So I'm excited to read this and see the differences and similarities and kind of just <laughs> get the full Walking Dead experience. But alright, I think that is it for this video. I got a lot of books this January and for my birthday and I am so excited to read them all. They all seem so good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below which book you think I should read first. I would love to know because I don't know which one to read. They all look so good. But yeah, <laughs> thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!